Hello and thank you for tuning in to Heart to Heart. My name is Elaine Enriquez and it's always a joy to spend this time with you. There are different spiritual gifts which are mentioned in the New Testament. Let's go to the word in 1 Corinthians 12 verses 8 through 12 in the King James Version. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another, the interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the selfsame Spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body, so also in Christ. Now that we went over the Word of God, let's go to the speaking of tongues. In many congregations, is controversial. The Bible is very clear on how these gifts may manifest. As believers, you either speak in tongues or know of someone who does. Let's define the gift of tongues. It is defined as one of the supernatural manifestations listed in 1 Corinthians 12. It's not a natural phenomenon. In 1 Corinthians 14 verse 2nd or verse 2, when speaking in tongues, he does not speak to man but to God. For no one understands him, but in the Spirit he speaks mysteries. Even the speaker doesn't know what they are saying. The gift of tongues is defined as a supernatural manifestation of the Holy Spirit, which speaks a language. A language that the speaker has not learned or understand. This is why it's important to have those who have the gift of interpretation of tongues be present when speaking in tongues. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 14:14. 14, 14. For if I pray in tongues, my spirit is praying, but I don't understand what I am saying. The word is very clear. And if we understand we can then receive from someone that carries this gift. As believers, it is important to receive the interpretation of what the Spirit is conveying. The interpretation addresses to the person or the individuals the prayer is about. It explains it. It tells it. It's a message from God. These are subjects that are so important. They become topics that are controversial because of what it entails. And this is why I enjoy these messages every week. So we can talk about these things. If you have questions, don't hesitate to send them. I'd love to interact with you and to be able to share knowledge of the Word. In this amount of time given to this segment, it is impossible to be able to go in depth in every subject. But again, if you have inquiries or questions, don't hesitate to send them over to us. God loves you. Here at OVM, we share His love with you. I invite you to follow us here on our social media network communities. Subscribe to our YouTube channel in OVM Radio. 
Now is a good time. Don't leave it for later. Now is when you should subscribe. You'll be able to enjoy more of our programming. If you enjoy these segments where the heart of the Father touches the heart of man, click the bell for more notifications of the segment Heart to Heart, available just for you. If you need us to support you in prayer, write to us as well your request to the following email, ovmprayforme at gmail.com. Leave us a message to know where you see us and hear us. I love to greet you on the next segment of Heart to Heart. God bless you and have an amazing day.